Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, nutrition, amazing events, and great people. Today, I am joined by a beautiful lady, inside and out, um, Dr. Jody Kennedy. Welcome, Jody. Thank you. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. My pleasure. So you do so much. Um, where did it all start? It started when I was 12. My dad had a serious lifting injury, uh -huh. and he, for a couple of years he tried traditional medicine and it failed. And as a last resort, he went to chiropractic okay. to see a chiropractor, and I saw it transform his life. Wow. And I knew at that moment that's what I wanted to do. That's what you wanted to yes. do. <laughs> and you've been doing it for how many years? 16. 16 years. Yes. And, um, you do something extremely uh, different in your whole body approach. Can you share with me about that? Sure. So as a holistic chiropractor, I'm going to look at the total person, mm -hmm. um, not just structurally what's going on with the spine, but also energetically, mm -hmm. uh, nutritionally, because right. everything is connected, right. top to bottom, inside and out, front and back. So to get to that root cause, right. it's important to address the whole person. To address, yes, yes, yes. And in addition to what you do here with having two boys and, <laughs> and a successful practice, you also um, have worked in Cambodia and you're going back. Can you share that with my viewers? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, with my church, we'll go... Uh, to Cambodia to serve the underprivileged. We go into the slums, we go into the red light district, into the poorer villages, and we share whatever knowledge we have. So medically, I'll go and I'll treat whoever is in need. Uh, we'll teach them um, good hygiene, how to brush your teeth, and how to eat. Um, a lot of them, they, they're used to adding sugar to the rice. Wow, MSG, really? yes, to everything. Wow. So we'll go in and just teach them healthy eating habits, uh, healthy ways to improve their bodies, um, sharing uh, what's called the iron fish, which you boil the water and it'll put iron into, into their diet for them. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. And you shared something about me because I'm all about, you know, taking time to, to thank ourselves for our blessings and what we're given. And in terms of, you shared with me as far as, what amazing people these were. And you shared a story with me in, yes. in terms. Can you share that with my Sure. Guys? So when I was in the slums treating um, an older woman, she hadn't walked in five years. And just, you know, adjusting her and, and doing some other um, therapy on her, when I was done, she got up and walked. Oh and she was so excited. And right. the very first thing she did, you know, this poor woman is to try and offer me a meal. And wow. I was just so blessed at her, her giving heart and her hospitality. Yeah, and they and they live so s simply and yes. blessed and, and take into account everything they've got. Everything they've they've got, they'll yeah. offer you seconds before they'll take food. You know, when you're when you're at a, at, at their house for a meal, right? You know, it's right. just it's such such an encouragement. No, and you and you're going again uh, yes. next year. Yes, I'm going again next July. <laughs> That's uh, absolutely phenomenal, yeah. and I want to make sure that all the information of your website and everything is there if anyone's interested of giving yeah. uh, for Dr. Jody Kennedy in terms of her mission to Cambodia. And, and how long do you stay? Uh, we're there about two weeks. <sighs> yeah, we're there about two weeks, and we bring as much donations as we can to help them, you know, yeah. and uh, and then we'll distribute it out in the areas. Oh. So. Unbelievable. And and what are your living conditions when you're there? I'm sure they're compromised. Um, so you make friends with the roaches. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you learn how to, to just uh, when you're in the rural areas, to they don't have normal bathrooms or normal showers. And so you just, you kind of become one with the people. And in a way too, that's, that's amazing because you, right. you know, you live like them, you, you love them and, and you help them. And, and you so. begin to just look at things simply and yes. appreciate what yeah. you have. I'm sure when you go back home, it's like, Wow. It's an appreciation. I know when um, one of the villages I was treating my office literally had cows in the background. <laughs> we were outside and they were asking me, you know, are you thirsty? And I'm like, yeah. They climbed a coconut tree and got me a coconut to drink. Wow. Yeah. And can I ask you just, just um, I'm just curious in terms of sugar to rice, um, why is in terms of they're limited in terms of condiments or, or um, they have spices? I, it satisfies their sweet palate, you okay. know, it's just, 
rice is cheap and right. sugar is tasty. And so they've right. just gotten in the habit of always tending to go towards that. Right. So I think it's lack of education. Just lack of lack education. Lack of education right. that they need. So um, in your successful practice, you've been established since uh, 2006 in, in what you do. What are some tips that you would recommend? Because you're different in terms of the whole body approach. Yes. We hear so many specialists that are just one uh, specialization, mm -hmm. and they don't address the entire uh, person. And that's what you do that makes yes. you different. So what are some tips that you would recommend in, in our present state of, of where we're sure. at? Sure. Right so um, in about 70 to 80% of my patients, I find that the chronic pain that they have is coming from um, loose ligaments. And usually it has a nutritional root. Uh, either they need more minerals right. in their diets or more good fats. So okay. just having more foods, you know, have minerals, you know, get your superfoods like your chia seeds and, and different things to get that in your body. Right. Uh, to get those the organic minerals, you know, kelp and things like that right. can really make a big difference because if your ligaments are loose, you'll always have muscle tightness. You know, that can be a cause of fibromyalgia. Interesting. So interesting. adding that in a little bit here and there, uh, very helpful. Right. And a lot right. of times, you know, people are sore and tired um, because they have lost the normal muscle endurance, you know, from a lack of the fuel, good fats. Interesting. So adding some avocado, right. adding the good nuts, uh, walnuts, sure. can make a huge, huge difference. And, and how they respond. And, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You will never hold an adjustment. You won't be able to maintain relief from massage or any therapy you're doing if your muscles can't carry your body around right. and if your ligaments can't support. Right. So uh, that is a, a, something I recommend to everybody. Very, very important, just building that, that, that solid found, mm -hmm. foundation. That's um, right. I did my graduate dissertation with uh, omega-3 fatty acids and help yes. with proclivity towards uh, atherosclerosis. And what was interesting with the 3,200 people was the variable, and then I used flax oil mm -hmm. as a possibility. Yeah. In terms of how important something like flax seeds, uh, I don't know if you agree, Dr. Kennedy. Yeah, oh yes, flax, flax seeds, seeds are great. ground flax yeah. meal or flax oil is uh, anti-inflammatory, as well as helps with, um, stabilize. it has been shown to help with stabilizing blood sugar and helps sustaining energy. And it's just a very easy way of, of uh, just incorporating incorporating it in your foods if your physician approves um, because it helps in so many different Absolutely. levels. Um, I'm always saying with my patients, even with chia seeds, that chia seeds, even though they start as something that grew out of a side of a pot, that they're just full of omegas mm. and, and great things uh, to add to a smoothie yes. um, slowly yes. and gradually to help with fiber and help with the omegas. So what other kind of nutrients are important as far as uh, assistance of muscle? Um, magnesium. Magnesium. Magnesium okay. is, is great for muscles. Um, and it's also important to support the bones. So so often right. people think of just needing calcium, but right. you also need collagen and other things right. to maintain that normal resilience. Your bones right. need to be strong, but right. they also need to have some give right. so the overlying muscles can contract for strength and relax for comfort. So, you know, just eating, you know, just a well-rounded diet as best you can right. can be very helpful. And goji berries are are excellent for, for the nutrients. Yeah. Um, and goji berries help in what way? Uh, trace minerals. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the magnesium, I know that I'm always indicating for my diabetic patients, as far as magnesium facilitating over 300 different yes. enzymes in the body. That, yeah. And because of our soil constantly being recycled depleted. and depleted and reused, uh, our crops are mm -hmm. losing the absorbability of nat natural yeah. magnesium that would present itself. And speaking of absorption, when our bodies are under more stress, it's like a car going uphill. You need more fuel. So even when you're eating healthy, if you're under stress, you're not going to absorb as much. And that's as healthy. Very you're smart. only as healthy as, as um, much as you absorb the food. So helping right. digestion, right. if a uh, little apple cider vinegar, as long as you don't have an ulcer, right. you know, other things, digestive enzymes, fresh pineapple, right. papaya can all be very, very helpful yeah. to getting those vital nutrients from your food. Yeah, Abs no, absolutely. Uh, I've recommended to my people in terms of natural papaya and pineapple. Mm -hmm. um, 
in, in terms of just those natural yeah. enzymes. And just through the time, as I, I've indicated, as far as that just being aware of what we're eating and how we're going to feel after it. Yes. I don't know about you, but if I eat a, a pasta meal, I, I really feel <laughs> afterwards like I have a brain fog and lack of concentration. Absolutely. Well, here, this is what I tell my patients. When you eat bad, it affects your whole body. Not only do you bloat here, but that inflammation goes everywhere. You, sinus congestion, the brain fog, it's all because of that indigestion, you know, not being able to break it down. The food literally is, is rotting in your stomach if you can't break it down. And it's going to have that negative effect. And that very often when you put it in those terms can make people pause on that second helping, you know, that's, say no and maybe try something else first. That's that's wonderful to say that it's not only going to help with the brain fog or concentration, but it's going to affect negatively the entire body and Absolutely. how it functions. Absolutely. Yeah, because if you don't digest, you're going to end up reabsorbing those toxins. Right. And right. that's never good. Yeah. As Hippocrates has said, you know, let medicine be thy food. Yes. Yeah. And um, not be our food and food be our medicine. Um, and in terms of uh, in the present with stress, what do you tell your people as far as working with stress? You... Well, one of the things that I'll, I'll tell my patients when they're uh, dealing with stress is a number of different acupressure uh, tips that they can do. There are different points on your hand um, you can, can rub um, to just work out stress. This is large intestine four. Um, to just rub it and it can be very helpful. Uh, very often too, holding a point on your forehead is another reflex point. Just for a minute or two, that helps you to be able to, to balance whatever you're thinking um, and have it not affect you as negatively. And breathing, breathing from your diaphragm yeah. is so important, not just for stress, right. but to help circulation. A lot of right. lymphedema, a lot of swelling comes from the fact that we sit. And when we sit, we sit like this. Mm -hmm. And it compresses everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reminders are good. Reminders yes, are you good. Get there. Um, but when you compress the ribs, now all of a sudden you have less room for that oxygen to get in. Fascinating. You are going to not circulate here, which can lead to breast cancer if you if you get congestion. Right. So just sitting up, breathing deeply, stretch the ribs, you know, counting to 10 and then letting it out right. and just stretching, you know, a right. little stretch to the side, shoulder circles is right. very helpful just to clear the mind. Yeah. And no. very valuable and important information. I have to thank you so much for being here today, just because of how many people you help at your practice, as well as who you are and giving back. And I'm all about with my show in terms of how many ways, can, what can we do mm -hmm. to give back? Um, and thank you for doing that. My pleasure. Thank you so much and <laughs> such valuable information. Uh, thank you so much. Remember that moderation and balance is key. Um, have a great night.